So for me, I think one of the most important messages is that we should think about it. So if we start a treatment, either with aromatase inhibitors or with androgen deprivation therapy in prostate cancer, aromatase inhibitors in breast cancer or ovarian suppression, we should think about the bone health and we should do all the steps that I told you. Um, I think this is something that is probably done much more often in, in women with breast cancer because people are more alert of it. Um, but also we shouldn't do it blindly. We should really do the bone density measurements and then the risk factor calculations and according to that decide if a bone targeted agent is needed, yes or no. And I think the most important thing is think about it. Um, do the assessments and then decide if someone needs a bone targeted agent, yes or no. Because in the long run, there are fractures that are really bad for patients, cause morbidity, most mor cause mortality, if you have this bone loss that is induced by a treatment.